Hello everybody, my name is Gabe and this is episode 2 to my uh, Unity 5 C Sharp programming tutorial series. In this episode we're going to be going over um, operators and if statements. So uh, start out by opening your hello world script that we made last episode and remove everything except for the start, except for the start method. Okay, so now uh, we're going to get into if statements. So uh, let's make a number. So my int, or sorry, we're gonna make an integer called my int is equal to three. And so we make if statements by typing in if open parameters, and anything in these parameters is what we are actually checking for. So I can do if my int is equal to three. Now this isn't gonna work, and you can't write equal to, which is why I'm gonna paste in this little thing. Uh, I guess, I don't know, that's probably not the right name for it, so I'm just gonna remove that. Uh, this is how you check for things in C Sharp to see if things are equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, or less than or equal to. Uh, so if my int is equal to three, and then we open our brackets, so anything in the brackets is gonna happen if this statement is true on the first frame, of course. So uh, runs at first frame. So if my int is equal to three, we're gonna debug that log, my int is three. Okay, so if we go back into Unity and put our script on an empty game object, if you didn't do that last episode, and hit play, you should see in the console uh, that it says my int is three, because, well, it is three <laughs> uh, over here. So if we stop playing and change this to two, uh, nothing's gonna happen. If we change it to five, nothing's gonna happen unless it's three. So we're gonna try to figure out a way where we can do if like uh, otherwise, so else. Uh, so if my int is equal to three, we're gonna debug this otherwise or else. So you just type in else and then you put in the brackets. And this links this else statement with the last if. So if this happens, we will do this otherwise or else we're gonna do what's in here. So else debug.log my int is not three. It's three. If I change it to five, my int is not three. <laughs> so that's how you check for things. Uh, we can also do this with booleans. So I'll make a public bool, my bool is equal to four, or excuse me, is equal to false. Uh, <coughs> so we'll do if my bool is equal to false, then my, so then bool is equal to false. Bool is true. Okay. So we can go back here. Bool is false. If I change this to six, or sorry, we're doing <laughs> we're doing the boolean now. Uh, if I change this to true, uh, bool is true. So that's how you do if and else. If we go back to the numbers really quick, uh, if I do my int, I can show you we can do greater than. So if my int is greater than three, uh, true. Then, I don't know, just, oh, that was probably retarded, uh, false, I don't know. I'm not even thinking right now. Uh, so if my int is bigger than three, then true, otherwise false. So right now it's six, so true. And if I change it to two, false. Now, if we put this in update, checks. Actually, what I'm going to do is keep this here and just copy this over. Update checks once per frame. So if I change this in real time, so if I change the number to six, see this stops because it's no longer true and we go to this. So if I clear it, it'll 
you know, that's all that stays. Two, and now it's back to false. If you didn't have collapse, it would look something like this and very disgusting. I, I hate this because it's very, um, uh, it, it looks like spam. <laughs> I don't like it. So that's how you do uh, if statements with operators. Uh, you can also do this with floats. So public float my float is equal to 3.4f. What's up with the three and fours today? And we'll make another float. My float two is equal to five point uh, one f. I'll just remove this update method. We don't need it anymore. Just wanted to show you uh, if my float is bigger than two. We can we can still do that two or two point three, but we can also do it with two floats. So, or two variables. So if my float is bigger than my float two, then true, otherwise false. And as you see, it will perform the same. False. Uh, and if I change this to 6.1, two, true. Uh, and you can do the same thing with two Boolean, so public bool my other bool is equal to false if my other bool or if my bool is equal to my other bool then true otherwise false false and now these are both the same so it should say true and it does uh, you can also set booleans uh, so if my bool is equal to my other bool, then uh, we're good. Uh, we're good. And otherwise, uh, set boolean. And now what we're going to do is set my other bool, my other bool, to be my bool. So now what's happening is if uh, what were we che we were checking for if if these are both the same so if this isn't if these are not the same it will make it the same so if I make my bull true this one's going to be true now because what we're doing is we're setting we're setting this to this if it's already not just wanted to show you that you could uh, set variables programmatically which is very useful okay so uh, that's pretty much it for today I just wanted to go over uh, really simply uh, operators and if statements uh, if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content and thank you very much have a good one